episode of Cardinal Film Fights. I'm your host, judge, and moderator, Mark Rollins. We're going to meet our three competitors for tonight. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. They're going to give their name, their major, and a fun fact about themselves. And we're going to start out this end. Hi, I am Devin Smith. I am a freshman here at Ball State. I'm a marketing and political science major, and I play trombone. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Trevor Michael Sheffield. I am a sophomore TCOM major. I do the news for Tuesday mornings on WCRD, and I'm obnoxious. Hi, I'm Nate Richard. I'm a sophomore and I'm a telecommunications major, and I have run two marathons. Ooh. I think I was looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> well, gentlemen, <laughs> today I'm going to give you a rundown of how things work. We're going to start out with a one-minute introduction in which you introduce what you chose, why you chose it, you start building the case. Then we go straight into the five-minute form where you build your arguments up, tear each other down, and try not to get too bloody. And then we finish up with a 30-second conclusion in which you take all your arguments and wrap them up in a nice, neat little bow. And then I judge and declare a first, second, and third place. And today's question is who? is the best film composer besides John Williams and Hans Zimmer. We're excluding them today because they hurt me personally and they know what they did. So, we're gonna start with Nathan. Who is the best film composer? So the best film composer is Michael Giacchino. When I look at him, with his film, with his like, composed, his scores for his movies, he's done Inside Out, Up, and The Incredibles, and those are like two, three of the best like animation scores I've ever heard. And then also, he worked in the MCU, and for a while, there's a video on YouTube called like the Marvel Symphonic Universe about why the Marvel scores aren't any good. But that changed when he did the score for Doctor Strange, which I felt was very hypnotic, and it was very just, it took you to the world of Doctor Strange. And he also did uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, which it kind of made it feel like a high school film. And also, at the beginning, he does the classic Spider-Man theme song and everything. Another thing about him is that he has won an Oscar for Up. And his score in Up, I felt, is one of the best film scores, especially in the opening five minutes, where it shows him going around with his wife. Uh, I keep on forgetting her name. Ellie. Ellie. But, and Inside Out as well, in the opening scene of that. Okay. And we're going to go straight on to Trevor. For my choice, I chose Mr. Mark Mothersbaugh. Now, for those of you out there, this former Devo frontman has gone on to score many things in his illustrious career. Uh, one of his biggest hits, uh, he and his brother Bob have done the score for basically anything involving Nickelodeon's Rugrats. However, you may know him more for his film score nowadays, doing things with Wes Anderson in the Life Aquatic with Steve Wiseau, as well as doing a lot of uh, works involving uh, Chris Miller and Phil Lord, uh, whose films 21 Jump Street, the original Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, 22 Jump Street, he has helped score. Personally, I feel that in just every regard that he does, no matter what he does, he is always doing something different. I feel that his uh, catalog has a lot of variety, whether it be from commercials, film, television, et cetera, et cetera. And I feel that he has a great on-screen presence, having occasionally gone on screen to do his own things, like you know, doing stuff for Yo Gabba Gabba and all that nonsense. But I feel that he is the top of the top, and when he whips it, he whips it real good. Intriguing. And we're going to finish up with Devin. All right, I picked Howard Shore, and here's why. This category is called Best Film Composer That's Not John Williams or Hans Zimmer. And why is that? Because those guys are undeniably the best. Now, why is that? I say it's recognizability. If you look at John Williams, he has Star Wars, he has Indiana Jones. There's no person on earth who doesn't know that that's, those are the scores from that movie. You look at uh, Hans Zimmer, he has Pirates of the Caribbean. Everyone knows that score. So I say that recognizability is the number one thing, and Howard Shore has a number of recognizable tracks. He composed Lord of the Rings. He made a score for a completely mythical world, and everyone knows those songs. You cannot mistake a Lord of the Rings track. And he has some other stuff, too. He's done um, Oscar winners like Silence of the Lambs and Spotlight. He's done cult classics like The Fly. He knows how to make an original score, and that's why I think he's the best. Well, hot dog. I can tell this is going to be a very interesting fight, so let's get straight to it into our five-minute forum. Okay, I wanted to start with Mark Mothersburg. Okay, Ball. what? Mother's has... Ball. Mother's Ball, whatever. Okay, so the first thing is, he did the score for the Lego movie. Yes, he What did. is the first thing you think of? What is the first song you think of? Da -da 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 -da. No, it's Everything is Awesome. Everything is Awesome. Yes, that's I know, the but first that, thing but that you was think based of. off of I his can't remember. Teeth. I can't remember any score from his. Okay, he's done Wes Anderson. And then yours as well. 
I can't think of something besides you're talking about familiarity. Yeah. And when I think of Michael Giacchino, I think of like The Incredibles, like da na 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 na. May I uh, may I report for a second? You mentioned how you know you felt that uh, Married Life, the piece that accompanies the opening job, you felt that that was extremely excellent. What about the rest of the soundtrack? I actually thought the rest of the soundtrack took you away to that universe, to Paradise Falls. Is that what it was called? Yes, yeah. it was. If I can butt in here, I have to say, Mark Mothersbaugh, the guy has had like a 30-year career, and for the first 20 years of it, he did B-movies. He brought exactly. us Claudia with the Chance, not Claudia with the Chance, he brought us How to Eat Fried Worms. I mean, come on, really? <laughs> and since then, he's done Pitch Perfect and Thor Ragnarok, but if you think about the soundtracks of those movies, he's a DJ. He picks songs from other things and Excuse puts them in his me? movie. Excuse me? Yes. Those songs are picked by, you know, people who aren't the composer. The composer is in charge of remixing those songs when necessary, as well as doing original score. Let me put it this way. Uh, uh, the uh, Immigrant Song, that has always been part of the, the pitch for Thor Ragnarok. Right. But that's Led Zeppelin. Yes, Zeppelin. I know, but by that same token, Mark Mothersbaugh did all of the rest of the music for that film. I don't really remember the rest of the exactly. score for Thor Ragnarok. I remember Immigrant Song in the climax and yeah. in the beginning. I remember that's... nothing about that movie. If you look at Howard Shore... Pick any song from The Lord of the Rings concerning hobbits, you know, ba da dum 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 da 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 That's memorable. Does it ring a bell? Or Michael in Inside Out? Oh, no, no, I... Like, da na I will concede, I will concede in this case that I do feel that uh, Michael Giacchino's Inside Out score is one of his best. However, there are films where I feel like he is kind of... I don't want to say phoning it in, but just because... Mother's Burg is... Mother's Ba is film... Is, uh... Just... Filing a paycheck, paying a paycheck. Yeah, exactly. Every single hey, film he hey, does. Hey, 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 He hasn't won an Oscar. Okay. Yeah, well, you don't need an Oscar to be mine good. Mine has won an Oscar. Yours has won three Oscars. Look at Leonardo mine has DiCaprio. Won one Oscar. I realize that this is a completely Oscar. different thing. Right, wait, wait, wait. I need to cut in on your guy. Like, your guy, all he does is rearrange other people's music. Like, you, The Incredibles, uh, sure, those are all great tracks, but I don't think they're anywhere near as iconic as the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. Actually, but, so, oh, but if you get to it, like, if you think about some of his other music, like, he's done the Star Trek music. That's John Williams' music, and we said he's not allowed. We did Mission Impossible. He did Mission Impossible. He did the Jurassic World soundtrack. You know, those are all... You mentioned that he redid the Spider-Man theme for the opening of uh, 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 Spider-Man Homecoming. Once again, not his music. That was cute. And by the same token, about the guys, immigrant you, song. Guys say, you guys say that Mark Mothersbaugh, all he does is be a DJ and remix music. Yeah. Well, last exactly. I checked, outside of, like, a few of his soundtracks... That's all Michael Giacchino does with no, his more prominent work. Actually, Ooh, no, it sounds it like isn't. Uh, Howard Shore's faring pretty well in this, right? Ah, uh, I think we're really destroying Mother's you're so, you're so hey, 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 Yeah, hey, hey. what has he done that stood out? I can't think Lego of anything. Movie. You are, you already pointed Look, it out. You already pointed it out. Everything is awesome. And Who did no, that? No, 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 no. Here's Tegan the thing. Here's the thing with everything Tegan is awesome. It is based Sarah off the music. Lonely. That no, music. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Uh, uh. If you actually listen to it. No. You don't remember anything. I love the Lego I, movie. That's one I of my favorite I don't remember movies. anything from that movie. Excuse me, good sir. I Excuse love the Lego me. movie. Which movie so are you much. referring to now? The Lego movie by I, Christopher Miller and Phil Everything Lord. is awesome. Do you remember anything, any other song about that movie? The exactly. General Populist. Does any, the General Populist, do they remember any other song from the Lego movie except Everything Was Awesome? I think not. I think not. Also, with your guy, what is his name again? Howard Shore. Sir. Howard Sh <laughs> Sor Shore. I'm... Sorry about that, because he is a great composer. But I can't think of anything he's done besides Lord of the Rings and Hugo that has really stood out with me. Giacchino has done so many like familiar yes, scores that were very... Can I ask you, this in Up towards. and Incredibles, what are the songs you recognize from that? You recognize the main themes from that. If you look at Lord of the Rings, every song in there is almost iconic. Okay, and I'll give like, you... He has thing about 20 Giacchino songs scores, if I may. in uh, one score. I apologize for it's like with a lot of his scores, I do feel like at times he's just recovering tread ground. It's like mm -hmm. with Homecoming, it feels... It That's lacks Mothersburg. Excuse me, Mother's Ball! Mother's, Mother's ba Ball, if you're going to insult him, at least get his name right, Mother's good ba sir. Okay, he has what is he? Names. He's done the Rugrats. Okay, yeah. That's a How Nickelodeon show. How to Eat Fried Worms, the true classic. Wow, let me, let me I totally it. remember the score in How to Eat Fried Worms. Let Such a classic in American yeah. cinema. One Your of the best scores. man is a glorified DJ. Hey, hey, he's hey. He's a kid, he does kids movies only. B movies. B movies, kids movies, hey, worm movies. Wow, thanks a lot, you jerks. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I realize I sound childish, but. <sighs> <laughs> and and what a perfect what get... place to end it with the, with the disgruntled. <sighs> Let's go into our 30-second conclusions. We're going to work our way back, so we're going to start with Nathan, then go Trevor, and then finish with Devin. When you think of Giacchino, his scores for animated movies have been some of the most iconic scores 
that have ever been in animated movies. With his Pixar movies like Incredibles, Inside Out, and Up, and also the themes. I mean, you could say Hans Zimmer with uh, The Lion King. And I uh, I keep on forgetting his name. Could you Howard say Shore. Howard Shore. He's a great composer. But Mother's Ba, I do not think is that great of a composer. He's just a glorified DJ, like uh, Devin was saying. Here's the thing with the. Oh, sorry, are we starting now? Go ahead. Here's the thing with DJs. They just take other people's songs and remix them. Mother, uh, uh, fucking Giacchino. Uh, pardon no. my language. Giacchino, I feel more <laughs> often than not, is just remixing other people's That's music. That's Mother's Ba. He's just remixing other people's music with Mother's Ba. Even mm -hmm. if he's just doing crappy movies, no. he's at least making new things. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. No. <sighs> Just listen to some of Gia Keanu's music sometime and tell me I that do you don't listen. hear familiar things that are just him? done in other pe from other people's work. He's be just adapting things. Mm, that's Mother's Ball. Shut up. <laughs> right. Well, I have to agree. Mark Mother's Ball is a DJ. All he does is uh, remix other people's existing work. And it's not your turn. And if I may comment, Michael Giacchino, while he has a few great works, the only works in The Incredibles and Up that you remember are the main themes. And he rearranges other people's music as well in many of his movies. And if you look at Howard Shore, he created an entire world that has many, many, many distinct songs, not just one. And he has other street credits to go with that, including Oscar wins. Any facts to check, Vaughn? Everything was truthful. <laughs> All right. Though fiery. Truthful. <laughs> fiery. Okay. So... I'm going to give my verdict, but before I do, I'm going to map out my escape options. Uh, yeah, okay, I know where I'm going. So, excellent argument, by the way. I felt in danger the whole time. <laughs> I was in fight or flight mode for the duration of thing. <laughs> my pupils dilated. My heart, <laughs> my heart rate increased. If I may make a comment that is not related to my argument, I feel like if I come back on this show, I might just give myself an ulcer. Exactly. It's like <laughs> our show is brought to you by Pepto Bismol <laughs> and Tums, but it, it's not really. But if it was, that would be great. So, anywho, <laughs> first place. I'm going to give to Devin. Second place, Nathan. Third place, Trevor. Trevor, you can, you're allowed to curse on this show. Eat my shorts. Hey, hey. At least my guy has to make new music. To and, you know. No, 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 You say he's a DJ. DJs just play other people's music. He's actually making music. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Everything is awesome. He's the only. I'll give you this. I'll give you this. He makes playlists. So, you know, you t I don't even think you guys know what that is. So my true. reason, my official reason, wrapping this up, my official reason for judging the way I have judged is I think there was no strong argument that stuck against Devin that said that, like, Howard Shore's music wasn't original and wasn't iconic. Like, his, um, like, people tried to say that outside of Lord of the Rings and, like, Science of the Lambs, his music wasn't iconic, but those movies are very big, and therefore the music that is in them is very iconic. Nathan, I feel like you made strong cases for The Incredibles and Up, it, but I think Devin and Trevor hit you with that the main themes were kind of the most memorable yeah. parts. Okay. And also there was, a couple, and there was a few allegations of maybe just mixing old material into new movies, but not so much so as Trevor, where <laughs> I, I know Trevor, but Mark Mothersbaugh, when it comes to Thor Ragnarok and How to Eat Fried worms <laughs> it was i'm afraid it was just a slippery slope that you couldn't quite shake yourself from so to recap first place devon second place nathan third place trevor thank you for tuning in to this episode of cardinal film fights be sure to do all the things you do on social media and do them to our videos like like and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> and, and share and all that jazz my name is mark Rollins. have a wonderful evening america world